howdy everybody, my name is Mr. Hansen and welcome to the Fallout New Vegas Iceberg Explanation Part 2. And if you haven't seen Part 1, I advise you to go check that out. I go over the basics and ground knowledge of New Vegas. This Part 2 will be diving more into the mystery, into the drama, into the big names that were known in the Fallout New Vegas server. But before we go any further, please leave a like and subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, it helps a lot to see the pro uh, my channel progress and uh, it helps me crank out these videos ever so much faster. So thank you everybody so much and enjoy the video. A lot of people told me I didn't cover most of the drama that happened in the Fallout New Vegas server. So to begin part two here, I wanted to cover the lost drama that everybody wants to know. A lot of people can say the drama started when user Franz uh, joined the server. Uh, I got some information from Happy saying, Okay, so uh, I've gotten a couple of people who just direct messaged me about uh, Franz. Can you tell me everything you know about Franz and how uh, you started being friends with Franz until the end? Franz I met through... I think I just... He was one of the people that I gave admin right away when I first met him. And he proved to be troublesome because he was messing things up, he would not take orders, and when I told him this and I removed him, he tried to track me down I rattle to find my address and try to quote unquote kill me. So I got rid of him. But I messaged some of the old members in the Discord server about Franz and asked them for their story about them. The Franz incident was the first set of major drama for the server, as it was cut in two and I got caught up in the middle. Ultimately, I decided to stay loyal to Happy and help him stay up and running the game he created for all. Cloudy was my ex, as you know, but one day it went down south real quick. That guy and her came into the lobby. People kept calling her a bitch, which struck a nerve. It seemed as she went full rage mode, arguing and kicking and even banning people. I told her to stop or I'll remove her from the server. She continued, so I did it twice. It happened in two servers. She proceeded to get my account banned, and that's why I have to wait an hour before playing again to moderate the server. And then we went to court, presented our case, and I had won the case but lost mod, but stayed as an admin and Cloudy was removed from the admin program for good until later when I quit during the incident with Poseidon and his gang. Now when they say they presented it in court, uh, Happy held a trial uh, to understand what happened on both sides and like he said, it, uh, it was concluded that he, that both parties were guilty, but not really and uh, so at the end of the day, they just both lost their mod. A little foresight on who Franz is. Franz was a moderator of the Fallout New Vegas RP who got removed from his mod perm due to his immaturity. Then started a riot in the server by killing and saying the most racist things possible. And as soon enough, he got banned and blacklisted from every happy game he made. He is now more calmer. And this last part here was filled in by Meme Kid. This was basically explaining uh, from a different perspective of what happened to Franz and what happened to all the mods when all of this was really happening. There was a time on the server when a certain Francis was running around and she was telling Happy what to get rid of and what to add and to make it more accurate to Fallout New Vegas. The first one, the Red Rocket, and they added the tower. Then they added the Brotherhood Bunker that was later removed due to a glitch that I found. I met Franz like once. The entire time I played New Vegas, uh, by the time I met uh, I met that person, um, it was when they were getting removed from the server, so it wasn't a lot of communication there. But with that, uh, the, my time spent with that person was not pleasant. I will say that for sure. But moving on to the next layer of our iceberg, I call this part of the iceberg loose ends, mainly because it's just kind of covering a couple loose ends, like the faction war, the undead legion in the faction war. All right, so covering some of these loose ends, we're gonna talk about the faction war. Like I said, the faction war was just a fun way for every faction in the Fallout New Vegas server to maybe uh, take over Terry, uh, sorry, take over territory and um, have little wars. It's just supposed to be a fun RP uh, event in Rec Room. This idea slowly got torched because everybody who was participating just made treaties and didn't want to have anything to do with war at all, and anytime someone wanted to go to war, people would start complaining about losing their territory, or saying that that team copied them, or saying that that faction is copying their faction so they don't want to go to war with a copycat faction, and that's what leads us to the Undead Legion. I wanted to cover the Undead Legion just a little bit because I kind of have a personal tie with the Undead Legion that I've severely 
cut off. So during the height of the destruction of the faction war, uh, there was this other faction called the Atlantis Legion. Now I won't lie, the Atlantis Legion was a direct copy of the Undead Legion from, from start to finish. But nonetheless, they were bringing people to the server and, and they were part of the faction war. The Undead Legion had a problem with copycats uh, in a faction war that they were also in, so they either said, it's either uh, them or us, you know, if, they, if they're not gone, we're leaving. And this just, you know, and this just, and for me, this just caused friction for everybody, because it's like, we have a faction that says, if you don't kick a bunch of people, we're gonna leave. So all the mods and all, uh, you know, happy, we're all stressed out, we're like, well, we don't want any of this, we're trying to have fun in a faction war, why do we have to have unnecessary drama with uh, just a copycat uh, rec room group? I mean, I was told by the Undead Legion themselves that Rec Room will not do anything about the Atlantis Re Legion, saying that everybody copies each other. Fuck, the Fallout game we're playing is copied by Bethesda. You think Happy owns Fallout? No, we're all copying each other in some small way, like PNG YouTubers, like gaming channels. Everybody copies each other in some shape or form. Now. Don't plagiarize each other to the fucking max like the uh, Atlantis Legion did. Because, I, like I said, I will not lie. Those motherfuckers, to the teeth, copied the Undead Legion. And I kind of, I do I do feel bad being affiliated with them, but I also don't feel bad for the Undead Legion at all. And then, like a shooting star, the Undead Legion was gone from the Discord. We didn't know if they got banned or they just all up and left. Turns out, it was a little bit of both. Wing had some strong opinions about how Lush was running the server. McFlake saying the undead left because the owner Gang Wolf said Lush was not doing his job when he was co-owner. When he was co-owner. And obviously Lush got mad at that and knew that Golf Wayne had a reputation of starting drama between people. And later on when Golf wanted to, he left the New Vegas server and sent Lush a message saying he did not mean what he said. There was some confusion about if they were banned or not, but Lush said they were not banned, they simply left and he got rid of anybody who was still in the Undead Legion to uh, not be in the server any longer. Overall, I'm happy that the Undead Legion is no longer a part of New Vegas, but can't really say that because New Vegas isn't really a thing at all to be a part of anyways, so I am still sad about that. <laughs> But switching gears, I got exclusive interviews with McFlake and Lush and Happy to explain their part of the story of what really happened to the Fallout New Vegas server. Rolling the clips now. Alright, okay, let's do question number one real quick. I guess, bam, I don't need that. Alright. Question number one, what was the conversation for you guys getting the maker pin? Um, I, yeah, so basically it was me uh happy there was a couple other dudes uh solar joined late mcflake was in there and happy was kind of just flying around right and um i think he was like he, he said like he's gonna pass on like ownership because i think there's like more hobbies he's doing he's getting into football and stuff right and he he uh after like talking he told me to uh like fly up right and so i flew up right and then he's like i'm gonna trust you with this game uh we want to add stuff just give me permission and whatsoever and don't ruin it and i was like of course man of course right and so after that um yeah it just that yeah that's how it kind of started where i got make a pin and then i uh, i trusted me uh me play i gave him like uh because i've known him for like eight years i gave him like um uh head of mod right and uh, i gave him maker pin so me and him were pretty much kind of like i guess running the place but uh yeah so mods had maker pin right that's pretty much it all right, uh, go ahead and tell your part of that question. All right, so basically what happened, like we, like he said, he was loaded into a game. It was me, like it, I joined him first, it was me and Happy, and then I invited Lush, and Happy invited his two friends, uh, like I think Wiz, like Wizard of Love or something, and his girlfriend. Oh, wow, they were talking about like having Cone or like they, they shouldn't do it. Uh, and, and then like he said, he, uh, him and Happy flew up, and I was obviously down on the ground, and then after they kind of talked about it, I looked at the room graders and it said Lush. And I was kind of happy about it because it's like, now that we can like, I don't know, like update the map because a lot of people did not like, like certain parts of the map and this and that. So we kind of wanted to improve it, but obviously we added out on it. Okay, side question. Yeah. 
why did you change the water from green to blue? This is just this is real side question. I haven't. I wanted. Oh, uh, it, for summer, a lot of people were suggesting that we made like add palm trees just for summer, right? And I was kind of like, yeah, it's cool. That sounds cool. It'd be a, like a little cool thing to add. <clears throat> it's not really Fallout related, but it's just a little cool thing to have in the game, I think. So yeah. All right, all right. There at least there's like a reason to it that wasn't like I just wanted yeah. it blue. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see. I do I have like, question number far. two ready here. Question number two. Whose idea was it for the casino, and then how did you guys go about executing oh. it? Nate. Nate. Uh, he, he, he was a mod. He's a mod, right? Um, A really good person. We've known him for a while. Um, And he started... We When we gave mods Maker Pin, he was in a private lobby building something, right? And he wanted us to come check it out. We checked it out. It was this big cons casino, right? Then it, it, uh, it took up a decent amount of ink, but, like, it was, like, where we had to get rid of, like, stuff no one really wanted right so like the paddle for an example or uh like some tent just some and yeah it, it, we just went through it and he, he wanted us to help him on it and we were like this is awesome i i could see this going places and yeah that's 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 where it take, took off <clears throat> all right uh same do you want to share a part for that yeah all right so basically kind of like you said like it was Nate's idea first. Like we joined in. We were I had an, we were gonna do like in a giant event, but then he started building a casino. I was like, uh, and then people started killing him, and we started doing stuff in the private game. He was like, I'm gonna leave. He went to a new private server. He started building it, and uh, we me and random at the time saw it. We were like, oh, this is pretty sick. And then Lush joined in. He said we started. He started building on it, and then I was like, oh, I'm gonna join in. So at the, uh, originally there was supposed to be like a turning talk, turning car and all that, but. That take up too much ink and uh, trying to figure out how to do it. Like we know how to do it, but it was like too much for the mm -hmm. casino. When you three were making the casino, uh, at what point did you message Happy that you were doing it? Mm, um, when we finished, uh, we had we thought everything was done. We knew we were, it wasn't quite done. Like of course, in the future, we'll add like some actual like casino related stuff. Um, then um yeah yeah we'll, we'll add uh, more casino related stuff and I messaged him I took a picture of like two angles and uh, he said hold on I'll be online right and so yeah he he gets on and yeah it goes on from there. Uh, when Happy joined the server and took a look at the casino, is that when you guys started uh, having disagreements or arguments? When did the when did the fire really start Ooh. to burn? Can I answer um, this one? Yeah he's got it yeah he's got it. Okay, so basically when he started, so like when he when he joined in, we started to notice that like it was kind of sloppy. Like some of it was kind of sloppy. Like when we made it, it was like a little pole, like the two poles in the front, and like the little floor, like the floor, like the two poles weren't like connected with the thing. Which he uh, he complained about that a lot, and then he started complaining about like the windows and all that. So at first we didn't find nothing wrong, and we started finding these small details that he found, and we fixed them up. It was obviously good for a little bit, and then we added like the pool table and the roulette table and all that. And then about that, there was he was kind of mad. He didn't see the vault was gone, like the cafeteria. And after he figured out, he wanted us to add it back, even though nobody liked it. But oh, yeah. so you guys were the ones that removed the cafeteria? I thought Happy did. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no. We, we. He wanted a lot to add of people it. He wanted us to add it back. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. It, yeah, I walked it, into. It, I guess it was. I walked into you know, the vault, and there was no. Uh, room in there i was like oh what the hell man that makes sense if you guys did it for ink but you didn't tell happy that you were removing it no no we told him he could flew around uh fly around the map and check if like anything like he wants added back he can come to us and we'll, oh, you know, of right. course we'll okay. undo okay. or okay. remake see, it <clears throat> so um did you guys decide to leave or did happy tell you to leave uh we decided to leave um in the past we've had like a lot of disagreements and I don't know, I feel like, uh, uh, before I say this, I gotta say, uh, I have nothing against Happy, I think me and him moved separate ways, we're cool now, I guess, like, we don't talk to each other, I think we just went our own separate ways, we have, I don't got beef with him, I don't think we got beef, uh, I just like to get that out of the way, um, so, uh, uh, we decided to leave, cause I guess it's not a lot of disagreements, we didn't like how, we kind of been disrespected by a lot of people, cause I think they thought, like, a lot of people thought we like made we were the game creators like right because I was co-owner right uh and they would mostly put it up with me I, I tell them like the yeah, the whole map right we didn't make it I'm just here to take over right and it's it's been weird it's a weird feeling also 
I'm trying to get into other hobbies, like uh, do other stuff, right? And I'm, you know, being pinged, and I don't, I don't mind it, right? Uh, but sometimes it would get really bad where I would not get sleep, a lot of notifications, and I'm really nice. I'm, I'm, I'm really good guy, and I don't like being mean, saying like stop messaging me or something like that, right? And so we, we just, we, I like, it wasn't like, like, screw you, happy, I'm leaving, right? It was like, hey man, I messaged him, I'm like, I'm leaving, man. It, it was an honor, like, playing with you since you're back and stuff, and uh, etc., right? And so. Yeah, I made my announcement. Me and McFlake and uh, Nate, Scoop, a couple others, uh, we all left, right? It wasn't just, like, me and McFlake. We decided to lead, too, right? We made an announcement. I think he ended up deleting it and, like, making his own, but it's whatever, right? Um, we ended up leaving, and now, yeah, once we left, I guess the apparently the server went downhill, and my friends that were still in the server, they, they, they told us what's going on. I was like, damn, dude, that so much is happening in one day, you know? A lot happened. Dude, a lot. I can imagine it was probably a lot of built-up stress all in one moment and just for you guys to really not want to you, you you built something yeah. that you guys didn't want to be shitted on either like you got you know exactly, that was the yeah. cherry on top wasn't it mm -hmm. um do you uh do you disagree with the way happy handled the situation or do you think he was reasonable with the way all of the emotions were flying uh, I, I kind of disagree how he, like, put it, like, how he, when we put the, like, when he put his, uh, like, his retirement thingy in the announcements, like, his speech, Happy deleted it, and then he, uh, he put, like, a better speech, and was like, uh, I'm gonna step up, because McFlake and Lush step down, and I'm gonna do this and this. I don't like how he handled it after, because he didn't have to say all that mean stuff out there. He could have just left it out there. Oh, they're leaving, okay, that's fine. I'll just do this and this. I'll try to improve, but... You obviously do those flying, like, those mean words out. This and that, yeah. Uh, why did you start the server? I started it because I wanted to create a safe place for people to have fun in and enjoy. So there was a great mod purge. Everybody called it Order 76. Can you go into more depth about Order 76? Order 76 was kind of the community's classification for it, but basically what it was is that Franz was trying to convert the admins to be against me to all be as one legion that would move against me. So I had to, you know, manually cut out the bad ones. And a lot of people were saying that, well, I wasn't a part of that, but I had to cut out anyone that was even relatively close to him for my own safety. So, yeah, I cut out, I cut out like more than I knew, I cut out more than I should have, but I'd rather cut out more than I should have versus not cut out enough and keep the disease in the, within the ranks. That makes sense, you're just cutting off the whole leg before it spreads. It's like, yeah. It's like when there's a, let's say that you're, you have like a blackberry bush and the end of the bush, like the tips of the branch are rotten and there's a disease within the bush. You don't cut out the tip of it, you gotta cut out the whole branch to make sure there's no more left in it. After uh, Order 76, did everything feel like it started going downhill? Uh, the admin morale definitely went down. Admin but morale, I can see that. The admin morale definitely went down, but the game was still booming, so there was always people to fill in the shoes. I bring that up a lot, how uh, for all, all the chaos, the game is just on the hot rooms uh, tab 24-7. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I bet I could check right now and it would be. So, your uh, quote-unquote retirement or passing the torch to McFlake and Lush, can you uh, story from beginning to end about that? They told their part about how they saw it, but for you, how, what was it like to give them the maker pin to all the way to see the results at the casino? I knew that if I gave it to another builder, they would get greedy with it, and it wouldn't have worked out more than it would have. It didn't work out this time. So I knew I had to give it to someone that liked the game, but also did, wasn't doing it for the money or for the incentive values so that's why it was between you and uh, lush and i 
I chose a lush because he was more active than you at the time. And you have your YouTube thing that you're, you know, focusing on. So I, you know, chose a lush. Every so often he'd be asking me for more pets the money. And I'd tell him that like, hey, I can't give you any more pets because the more I give you, like if you're not satisfied now, you're not going to be satisfied when you have 5%, you know, you're, you're going to want 10% and you're going to want 50%. Uh, so it kind of, there's a couple months where I all, the whole thing, he kind of revived the game, and it was fine, and then I joined, and before, you know, I left, I told him not to fiddle with anything, unless I gave him the go-ahead, so I came back and he made the casino, which I gave him the go-ahead, but I'm not mad at the casino, um, I spruced up a little bit, but then I realized that every part of the map in some way, form, was tweaked with or filled with somehow, and that's what kind of was like, like, you know, like I told you not to fiddle with everything, that's not cool. And then I learned out that he, like, gave Maker Pen to ma the majority of the admins. So he was basically letting every single kid that, you know, knew, like, maybe one thing about the Maker Pen build on my map. And that, and before I had only let him and McFlake build on the map, so I was like, a huge, you know, disrespect to the game and everything, just letting everyone, it's like, making a huge, uh, you know, spot of cement and then just let everyone, you know, putting footprints in it. Like, that's what it kind of felt like over my canvas, aka in the game. So then I told him that he needed to fix it all. And then he, you know, he told everyone that I was a bad person. You know, he, I told him <clears throat> to fix it all, and then, you know, I left, and then he, Turned everyone, he, he like, was like, I'm leaving, and then everyone come with me. That's what he was like talking about in the Discord. And I got a little mad myself, and then, you know, I said some stuff I shouldn't have. But at the end of the day, he did, uh, and I wasn't saying queer as in like the LGBTQ, I was more saying it as like they're just being weird, they're cowards for, you know, trying to turn everyone against me. Um, and then, you know, it all went downhill from there. Okay, how are we now, and what are your plans afterward? Well, uh, I kind of basically gave up on Rec Room, you know. Uh, I'm still making money off of it, so I'm going to use that to, you know, maybe buy a car when I'm old enough and whatnot. And, you know, I'm learning how to play the guitar, stuff like that, you know, I'm trying to find new hobbies and all that. And then the chance, because people keep asking me if I'd make a, another game, and the chances of that are there, but they're very minimum. And I'd have to have like a really good reason to.